guys, what's up? I'm Truman Lee, and today I'm going to be showing you how to break in a brand new baseball glove the proper way. First of all, happy first day of 2020. 2020. Yeah. yeah. Hope you all had... Wait, what did I just say? I just said 2020. No, happy first day of 2021. We don't want to have another first day of 2020. Happy first day of 2021. I almost said 2020 again. <laughs> hope you had a good 2020, although it was hard to have a good 2020. I hope at least you got what you wanted for Christmas, um, or Hanukkah, or Kwanzaa, or whatever holiday you celebrate. But anyways, I'm going to be showing you how to break in my brand new 44 Pro Custom Glove. Super excited to make this video. And I'm going to be breaking in my glove the traditional way. Um, I'm going to use no hot water, uh, just the traditional mallet and play catch routine that I use for all of my gloves. If this video is helpful to you, drop a like and a sub down below, and let's get into it. So here's how much I can close my new glove. Uh, I got the standard break-in on this on the Custom 44 website, and... I can close it that much, which is not a ton, but by the end of this video, hopefully I'll be able to close it all the way. So first thing we are going to do is we're going to not grab our mallet, actually. I don't know why I grabbed it, but first thing I like to do when I have a new glove is start to form it and massage it so that way it turns out the exact way that I want. And so as you can see right now, those fingers are pretty close together. And since I'm going to be using this in, uh, this glove for infield, I'm going to want to stretch, start stretching these fingers out. I'm gonna do some stretching the web out as well. So now I'm just going to start breaking in uh, this palm liner in here and on this glove I got the standard sheepskin palm liner uh, which will be quite a bit softer and easier to break in than the kip palm liner and so I'm just going to be stretching this glove out like this way and then just uh, closing it making sure this leather is all activated and ready to go for the break-in process. I'm gonna be doing some of these, just, this is just helping to break in that palm liner so that way it's a lot easier to shape this heel and palm of the glove. Just rubbing this back and forth. I took thumb and the pinky and just rubbing it back and forth make sure that leather is nice and stretched out I'm going to put my hand in it just to make sure uh, that everything is going good inside of the palm make sure that you put your hand inside your glove uh, after you do each of these steps because that way you know how everything's going in there so now I'm just going to push down from the top to form these fingertips of my glove because I want this glove to be as wide as possible for infield. If you are going to do outfield, uh, you probably want your glove more broken in like this. But if you are an infielder, then a little bit wider like that is a definite good bet. Um, another good thing that you can do is turning your glove inside out. So if you just kind of use your knee on this back part of the glove, and don't worry, turning your glove inside out will not ruin the leather. That looks so dumb. This stretches out the leather nice and good so that way we can start uh, working with it better. So I'm just going to leave the inside out glove here for about uh, a minute. Alright, so now I can flip the glove back to its normal shape. Looks kind of weird. Definitely put your hand in there now. And now we are going to establish the break points and this is the part where you are going to want a glove mallet. It's just the hot glove glove mallet. Uh, you can buy it on Amazon for like 
13 bucks or something. It's pretty cheap. Um, and if you don't want to buy a glove mallet, you can just use a baseball or you can make your own glove mallet. So now you are going to want to find a softer space in your house. You can do this part on your bed like I am doing. Uh, if you have a pounding pad, that is great. Um, but if you don't, just do it on your bed or on a pillow or something. So that way you don't ruin the leather while you are pounding your glove with the mallet. If you just hold these two parts of the thumbs, then just go like this and break in that binding. This helps to break it in a ton. If you just keep going back and forth, close the glove that you, the way that you want it. So I'm doing thumb to pinky and then just keep going up and down like that over and over again for a few minutes. So first thing we're going to want to do is establish these break points. So one of the break points is right here on the thumb, right on this inside part. As you can see, 44 has already broken it in a tiny bit. You can see a little bit of creases there. Um, and then the other break point is right in here on the pinky, like that way. So those are the places that we are going to want to pound. Um, but first we're gonna put our glove the way that we want it to close. So I want mine to close thumb to pinky. So I'm gonna close it thumb to pinky, just like that. And then we're just gonna start pounding. Oh wait, whoops, forgot to tell you. Untie these big thick laces right here. First, before you do this, and then you can just tie them later. Or if you have glove locks, you can use those. And I'll be using glove locks. To close the glove the way that we want it to close, so thumb to pinky, as I was saying earlier. And then, gonna take our glove mallet or your baseball, and we're just going to establish these break points. We're gonna hit right on this wrist part over and over again uh, for about five minutes. Um, and while you're doing this, you can move the glove down like that, like move the thumb part down and move it up. So you, here I'll just give you an example. So let's start pounding my glove. Then I'm gonna move the glove back and forth just like that slowly. So now we're gonna flip the glove over to its other side and do the exact same thing that we were doing with the thumb side. So if we just close it the way that we want it, flip it over to this pinky side, um, then we're going to pound it in the exact same spot just on this pinky side. So right there, do the exact same thing that you were doing on the thumb side for this for about five to ten minutes. And to help break in this pocket even more, you can set your uh, glove mallet right in that pocket. And then if you just take the top of your glove and you just push it into the glove mallet, like that, that can help stretch out the leather of the palm. And by the way, by the end of this, uh, whichever arm you're using to hit with the mallet, uh, like it will probably be hurting pretty bad because I'm using my right arm and it's hurting pretty bad. But you know what that means, gains. I'm gonna have the buffest arm in the world. <laughs> after breaking in my glove. So that's all I have for you guys today. I really hope you enjoyed. Remember to repeat all of these steps uh, for about 15 minutes each every day and make sure to play lots of catch with your glove for maximum break in. Here's how my glove is going so far. I can almost close it. Um, I didn't I didn't do all of the steps uh, for the time that I recommended though. I did each step for like five minutes or less because I'm trying to make this video at the same time. So 
But anyways, if this video helped you out, then make sure to smash the like button, leave a subscribe down below, drop a comment, and I will see you guys later. Peace out.